Hello my dear friends, Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my channel and I'm so glad you chose to stop by. Today's painting tutorial is about how to paint the pink rose in one stroke deco art style. The materials needed for today's project are listed over here. To start with, I have a white watercolor paper, 7.5 cm by 14 cm in size. It has a very light olive hue and it is stenciled and that forms the background for the painting. Now before I go on to make the roses, I am just blocking a bit of the area with magenta and permanent rose. And I'm using a liner brush for the same. Here is the palette for the rose. I have permanent rose acrylic, deep magenta, white, pink and golden yellow acrylic colors and I'm using a flat brush number six. Now I have loaded the brush with a bit of pink, deep magenta and white in the beginning and later on I will be adding the other colors as well. So here I begin the first layer of the petals of the rose. Certain times I am also using the liner brush just to adjust certain areas which I was not very happy about but right now it looks good enough. Before I put paint on paper I have a vision of what I really want to do like how the painting is going to be what I'm going to paint etc. But that is a mental vision, something that I have seen with the eyes of my mind. Now to make it physical, that is to actually paint what you have visualized is the second step of the painting. And once the painting is over that is when you see your vision come to life so the situation is like we meet so many people during our journey through life but when you meet them you really don't know which one of them will turn out to be your best friends later on in life? True friendship is one of the deepest relationships you can have with another person. It is said that a true friend is there for you through thick and thin. True friend is someone who has your back no matter what. They watch out for you and ensure you're not in danger. A true friend will always have your best interest at heart. Celebrate life with you and encourage you to achieve your goals. Now, making really good friends in today's day and age is one of the hardest thing to do. I have childhood friends as far back as when I was in school and they are still right alongside with me till this day. Two such friends are Niharika Ghosh and Shilpa Saxena. They have been my classmates in school and beautiful souls and wonderful to be with. This is what Niharika once wrote for me and I quote, If you find a true friend, think you have found an unending treasure. Friendship is 
precious and priceless. You are not going to know a true friend at first sight. It takes time to really get to know someone. True friendship is hard to come by. It's a gift to have that kind of bond with anyone in this world. Shilpa sums it up so beautifully and I quote When twilight pulls the curtain and pins it with a star, remember you have a true friend no matter where you are. Thank you Niharika and Shilpa. All right, so now I am doing those little pinky flowers sitting right above the roses, nestled in the leaves, which you will see in a bit. Here I am using a filbert brush and it's loaded with white and pink acrylic. Here is the leaf palette bamboo green, deep green, yellow ochre, and acrylic white. Here I'm loading the brush with bamboo green and ochre. I might add a bit of deep magenta later on if needed. Here I'm using a liner brush and blocking the underneath of the petals with a bit of deep green and a dash of deep magenta. This is bamboo green acrylic. Here are the leaves in the making. I'm using a flat brush number six for the leaves. And in case you would like to refresh your row skills or leaf skills, please visit my past videos. I will drop some of the links below in the description box for your perusal. There you go. You see the leaves around those little pinky flowers. At this point, I have picked up a bit of deep magenta along with the greens and the white on the brush. It alters the leaves totally, don't they? After this, I just went ahead and made the flower centers for those little pinky flowers. I have used golden yellow acrylic for the same. There you go. You can see the flower centers now. And I added some slider leaves to balance the image. That's a wrap on today's project. Hope you enjoyed watching me paint the pink rose in one stroke deco art style. Do connect with me on my social media handles and it would be great to be in touch with you. We'll be back with more interesting painting videos very soon. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.